Hello and welcome back to The Road to Good Cooking. There's nothing better than the smell of something cooking low and slow in your oven on a cold winter night. Today I'm making another one of my favorite recipes, braised beef short rib stew. This hearty stew is loaded with fresh vegetables and a bouquet garni jammed packed with garlic, fresh herbs and spices. I will post my recipe at the end of this video, so sit back and enjoy. Now let's get started. Here's a shameless plug for my butcher shop, Village Meat and Wine, the best butcher shop in Las Vegas. I will post their website link and their address in the description box below. Um, I'm starting off with two and a half pounds of boneless beef short ribs. They're beautifully marbled with just the right amount of fat and they're going to be delicious. Uh, here's my kitchen twine and the cheesecloth that I'm going to be using uh, to make my bouquet garni with. A number four coffee filter which we'll talk about in a minute. Here's my spice. Spices, Montreal seasoning and basil leaves, one large onion and one extremely large clove of garlic. Uh, look at this thing, it must be from the Las Vegas test site. It's almost the same size as the onion and it's strong and I'm sure it's going to be delicious. Oh my word. All right now, three um, stalks of celery and a whole bunch of fresh parsley which I'm going to be adding to my bouquet garni. I have five carrots and a whole bunch of red potatoes which I'm going to be adding to my stew at the very end. I'm not going to bore you with all the slicing and dicing so I'll be back in a minute and we'll go on to the next step. Let's talk about a bouquet garni. A bouquet garni is a bundle of fresh herbs that's usually tied up with kitchen twine or you can wrap it up in cheesecloth like I'm going to do for this recipe. Or you can use the coffee filter like I'm showing you here. But here's my bouquet garni. It'll be going into my stew shortly. While I was off camera, I chopped up all my veggies for my stew. I put half of the chopped parsley in my bouquet garni and the other half will go into the pot when I start cooking my veggies. I will be adding a few veggies uh, when I start cooking the short ribs. Now on to the short ribs. I forgot to mention Aleppo pepper flakes to my spices at the beginning. I sprinkled my short ribs with Montreal seasoning and Aleppo pepper flakes. If you don't have any, get you some. It's a really awesome spice. It will add a savory flavor without adding a lot of heat, um, like red pepper flakes does. I order mine online from the Spice House and I will post a link to their website in the description box below. I'm going to lightly dust my short ribs with one quarter cup of all-purpose flour. I had a little flour left over in the pan. I will be adding that uh, to the pan when I start cooking my veggies. I have my Dutch oven pot over a medium high heat and I will be adding just enough coconut oil to sear my short ribs. I removed my short ribs to a platter. I'm going to let them rest. Now I'm going to prepare my veggies. I added a few of the carrots and a few of my onions to the pot. Now I'm going to scrape up all those brown bits because those brown bits equals flavor, baby. Make sure you get them all. Now I'm going to add the rest of the flour that I had in that pan and this will help me make my roux. I forgot to mention you'll need four cups of beef broth for this recipe. Now, with my left hand, I'm going to carefully pour in uh, the four cups of beef broth while holding the camera with my right hand. Now, this is a challenge, so bear with me. <laughs> Girl got skills. Check it out. All right, I did it. <laughs> now, I'm going to add all of the short ribs back into the broth I just made. Here's my bouquet garni. I'm going to add it right here in the corner and just let it get all uh, snuggly and cozy with my veggies and my meat. Now I'm going to um, cover my pot 
with a lid, put it in a 325 degree oven and roast it low and slow for about an hour and a half. Here's what my short ribs look like after about an hour and a half of roasting time. I'm going to remove them to a platter and let them rest and I'm going to add my veggies to the same broth, pop them back in the oven for another 30-45 minutes or so and then I'm going to add the short ribs back to the broth. Here's my short ribs and as you can see they are fork tender. I've added all my veggies back to the pot and I'm going to uh, bump up the heat to my oven to about 375, cover the pot with the lid, cook these veggies for about 30-45 minutes or until they're fork tender. Here's my veggies after about 35 minutes or so. I've added uh, one half cup of sour cream and I'm going to add a quarter cup of half and half. Stir it all together and it'll be good to go. I'm going to remove my bouquet garni, add my short ribs back to my veggies, and dinner is ready. I packed up some of my short rib stew and a plate of bread and I took it down the street to my elderly neighbors whom I've been cooking for for years. And when I got there she had, had the table set up. Here's her, their table with their two bowls and their butter and their bread. It was so cute the way she had it set up. And I love them so much and I don't mind sharing with them. Anyway, this is a great recipe your family will absolutely love for the winter. It's savory, it's creamy, the meat is tender, and all I can say is this recipe will not disappoint. Mm. It is so good. Sorry to smack, but you know what? Sometimes you gotta do what you gotta do. Anyway, enjoy this recipe. Share my link with everybody you know in the universe. Subscribe, leave me a comment, and just take care of yourself. Feed your family well, and enjoy.